This video is brought to you by the Deck of Many and Humblewood.net. Welcome back to The Gallant Goblin. I'm Theo, and last week we did a review of Tiamat, Queen of the Evil Chromatic Dragons. You can see that review by clicking the eye in the corner of your screen. I asked you to leave me comments telling me your favorite D&D dragon, and I think the most popular response, outside of Tiamat, was Bahamut, Tiamat's counterpart. Bahamut is a platinum dragon and the chief deity of the good metallic dragons. Today we're going to look at both the icons of the realms, tyranny of dragons, premium figure Bahamut, and the D&D attack wing, premium game piece Bahamut. Attack Wing is a tactical flight and ground combat miniatures game from WizKids. The two figures should be essentially identical, but are they? We'll find out. We're also starting a new giveaway this week. You can win a booster box of pre-painted miniatures from the Descent into Avernus adventure. To enter, be a subscriber and leave a comment on this video telling me either your thoughts on Bahamut or about your most memorable encounter with a dragon in your campaigns. Tune in next Monday to see if you won. We'll, review, we'll reveal the winner of last week's giveaway at the end of this video. But let's open up our twinsy Bahamuts and take a closer look. Bahamut lives in the seven heavens of Mount Celestia, but sometimes wanders the material plane in the guise of a simple man in pleasant robes, accompanied by seven golden canaries. Really, seven ancient gold dragons in a polymorph form. He rarely interferes in the affairs of humanoid kind, but will attempt to thwart any interference by his archenemy Tiamat. Bahamut is a lesser god capable of granting divine spells to clerics and paladins who worship him. One legend holds that Bahamut and Tiamat are two halves of the same entity. In ancient times, there existed a dragon god named Io, who created the first dragons, willful lords of a newly formed world. However, during an event known as the Dawn War, Io was killed by a primordial named Eric Huss, who cleaved Io in half using a giant adamantine axe. The two halves became Tiamat and Bahamut. The only time the two worked together was to finally topple and kill Eric Huss. The icons of the realms and attack wing minis are essentially identical, aside from their bases. The enormous size of the attack wing base, which is 6x6, may make it harder to put down on your battle map if you use Dwarven Forge or have a lot of scattered terrain. The paint on the two is a bit different as well, mainly the attack wing mini has a stronger red coloring on its wings. Now paint jobs can vary from mini to mini and also from production run to production run, so your mileage may vary a bit if you pick one of these up. Both do use the dreaded peg system to support the flying mini, but this one has the best implementation of it I've seen, as the peg actually fits fairly deep inside the belly of Bahamut, making the mini much more stable and easy to assemble. Bahamut doesn't actually appear in any officially published 5th edition adventures at this time, but a statue of Bahamut does appear in Sleeping Dragon's Wake, which is a follow-up adventure to Dragon of Ice Spire Peak from the Essentials box. There is no stat block for Bahamut in 5th edition, but he does have one back in the Deities and Demigods supplement for 3rd edition. You could take those abilities and apply them to Tiamat stat block in Rise of Tiamat. Some enterprising folks have already done that over on DM's Guild if you don't want to build a stat block of your own. Now, the Attack Wing Bahamut does come with everything you need to play with him in the Tactical Battles game, including cards detailing his stats, movement patterns and abilities, various tokens, and a card to use inside his base for gameplay purposes. None of those materials would necessarily be useful or applicable to your regular Dungeons & Dragons games. In general, many of the minis from 2014 to 2016 are available in both the Icons of the Realms and the Attack Wing line. As long as you're fine with the different size bases, just pick up whatever is less expensive. Attack Wing was discontinued in 2016, but they made quite a few figures in the years it was active. It's worth keeping an eye open for Attack Wing sales, as you can sometimes find rarer minis at a discounted price. There are certainly many Attack Wing sets still available on online retailers. Another possible source for Icons minis is the various board games released alongside certain adventures. We'll take a deeper dive on those in a future video. Congratulations to the winner of our giveaway from last week, David Mahalovic. 
Mahalovic, I hope I'm doing that right, contact me at thegallantgoblin at gmail.com to collect your prize. Another giveaway starts right now. Be a subscriber and leave a comment down below about Bahamut or your favorite dragon encounter in one of your campaigns. Tune in next Monday to see if you won. We'd like to thank our sponsor for this video, The Deck of Many. They have a new campaign setting book out now called Humblewood. It allows you to use all the 5th edition D&D rules you already know and play in an entirely new world, populated with bird and animal-like races who live, or rather lived, in harmony in a mystical forest called Humblewood. You see, seemingly unnatural fires have started encroaching into the forest, destroying homes and displacing many of the humble folk. There is a growing resentment toward the bird folk who rule over this land, as their homes have not been impacted as much by the fires. Tensions grow, and peace depends upon the actions of a small group of heroes. Humblewood features ten new animal races, five of which are humble folk and five of which are bird folk. It includes an adventure that will take you from level one to level five. Check it out today at humblewood.net. Thank you for watching today. You can help us out by clicking the little thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video and clicking the little bell icon to be notified when we drop new videos. Come back every Monday morning for a new review and keep an eye out during the week for special surprise videos. At this moment, something golden this way comes. Hope you're doing well and I'll see you next time at the Gallant Goblin. Mm -hmm.